Hey, hey, friends, it's Kelsey, and I am here today on the Creative Retreat channel journaling using the latest Faith Art Box. And today's video is a little bit different for me. Um, I am definitely blessed with the Faith Art Boxes to have tools to be able to journal and to be able to work through hard things. And if you've been listening to the news at all lately, you know that there have been some crazy things happening, and I live in Texas. And some of the crazy things that have been happening have happened in Texas. And I needed a space to be able to pray through and talk to God about that. And the Faith Art Boxes provided me the tools to do that in a creative manner, but also in a way where I could just sit with Jesus and lament. And that's what this background is, is just messy prayers written to God, scribbled over it, asking him hard questions and whys and just praying for our world, for Texas, for the families of the tragedy and just really sitting with him. And for me, that's what this whole process is about. It's about a space to be able to sit with God and to connect with God on a different level. And this page looks different than my normal pages, but it's absolutely a page that I will turn back to in this Bible and know exactly what it was for and know that there is some tears that went into this page, that there is some sadness, that there is some lament, but... Just like our devotional has been talking about this month, God is our refuge and God is our hope and God is the joy when we cannot find the joy. And so this page just kind of reflects where my brain has been at over the last week or so and it's different than what I normally do. So after I got all of those messy prayers scribbled down, I just wanted to create a little bit of a... Um, cleaner, I don't know if that's the right word, surface for me to put some things on top of. I'm not using a whole ton of product, I'm just using um, some stickers from the sheet, but I didn't want it to be directly on top of my scribbles. I wanted to hide my scribbles a little bit so that they were between me and God, and when someone looks at this page or when someone opens my Bible, they're not going to see exactly what I was praying, but they'll know that there was some serious prayer happening. So I just used two colors that kind of match the colors in the kit and did the card scraping technique, and then I dried it really good. And then I am using the word Fetty from the kit to um, just kind of write out a prayer. Um, these word fetties are so perfect for this kind of thing. They give you the basis to write out a prayer or to add things to a prayer. And they are something that need not be wasted from your kit. Use them wisely. I love the word fetties in the kit. And then I took the alphas that came with the kit and I am just writing, Lord have mercy. Because that is the thought that has been going through my head over and over and over and over again lately is, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so I just documented that here. Um, I have found that with these alphas, it's really good to have a pair of tweezers. They definitely help get the stickers down and help them stay down a little bit better because um, they're a little bit thin. And... Tweezers are a great tool to have in your craft room anyways. These are just an old pair that I got um, at the dollar store and keep in my craft room. So I don't use them for anything other than that. So after I've gotten these down, I have gone to my stash and found these old enamel stickers from Creative Retreat that I think are still in the shop. If they are, I will definitely link them below. And I am placing them just kind of randomly over the page to just give it a little bit of dimension. I'm trying to pick colors that were A in the kit and colors that won't retract from the statement I'm trying to make with this page, but just to give it something so it's not so flat. Um, I'm going to use these blue stickers and then I'm going to use some gold enamel stickers. And when this is all done, it just gives it a little bit of a pop, but it also makes it something that, again, when I look back on, it... It looks visually like tears to me, and that was not something I was intending to do, but something that when I finished it, I was very aware of, and I really just liked how that looked in the end. 
So friends, this is just something that when you are feeling the feelings, whether it's about what's happening in the world, whether it's about what's happening with your family, whether it's a personal thing, this is a space where you can always go and turn to God is art journaling. And it, it can be a personal, meaningful thing. And I really encourage you to do that. So that's about all for me for this video. I hope that you guys hit the subscribe button and that you come back to the channel again because we've got lots of fun videos. The girls on the team do such a good job of creating amazing content for you guys. So until next time, bye-bye friends.